Right now, an appeal from one of our state's most notorious killers is in the hands of the state Supreme Court. Baseline killer Mark Godot terrorized the valley for more than a year starting in August of 05. He was convicted of murdering nine people and raping and robbing several others, then sentenced to death. Today, his attorney and the state's each had 40 minutes before the justices. Godot's attorney argued some of the criminal counts against Godot should not have been lumped together because that led to a biased jury. Some of his family showed up, including his wife, who we caught up with just a short time later. I will always be an advocate for his innocence. Surrounded by a crush of reporters, the wife of Arizona's notorious baseline killer breaks her silence for the first time in a long time. You know, he didn't do this. That's, that's the bottom line. I hate to oversimplify it, but he didn't do it. Wendy Carr walking away from the courtroom where the attorneys for her husband and the state had just wrapped appeal arguments. An automatic appeal offered to all death row inmates. We're always hopeful. We're always hopeful. She says Godot is doing fine and she still very much loves and supports him. He researches his case. We maintain our marriage. He's innately a positive person and very strong. Wendy Carr accuses investigators of planting evidence, including DNA, and hiding other killings in their pursuit of a conviction against her husband. As for today's court proceedings, no word yet when the justices are expected to release their decision on the appeal.